What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In this one, we're gonna fish again. Ha 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 ha! I'm just kidding, we're not gonna fish again. Um, yeah, that's what we did in the last one, actually. Ooh, there's a Skulchulamata here. Oh, it's morning time. Um, okay, actually, before we go worry about the Skulchul, let's go do. Well, we got the golden scale! We got the golden scale last episode! Where is it? It's right over here. Oh, that's a green tinge to it. Weird. That's so weird. I was green for some reason. So, the golden scale, we can all dive underwater for eight seconds. I thought it was six. Yay, we could dive so deep. Oh my god, where'd Link even go? He was underwater for so long. Actually, I don't think it's seconds. I think it's how many meters you could dive. Which is weird. I mean, especially if you have like the Zoro tunic on, it's like, shouldn't you be able to just dive forever? I mean, you could breathe underwater. Well, uh, maybe not forever, because buoyancy would push you off, but... Eh, I, I don't freaking know. Maybe that's that's how that works. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to make our way to the Desert Colossus. But first of all, we're going to go in here. And then we're going to talk to this asshole again. Ah, uh, hello there, Sonny. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing lake. Yes, yeah, so what? Okay, so if you dive down here, he like measures how... I said if you dive down here, he measures how deep you... You know what, just to fit in more? I am going to turn into... A fish! <laughs> Wearing the blue tunic makes me a fish, yes. Yay! I'm gonna dive so deep. Oh my glory, I touched the bottom. Oh, it even does a... Wait, does a dive thing go to zero? It only went to one that time. I wonder if it does go to zero or one. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you from your closet and taking pictures of you while you sleep for the past 18 years. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give it to you. You'll give it to me? Gross. Yay. That means only three hard pieces left in the game, guys. Yay. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to go... Uh... <laughs> Holy crap, I'm shocked I remembered that. Oh, I'm kind of remembering songs. Like, a point of song I remember is up apart, up apart, up apart. Wait, where does this go? Oh, that goes, no, that goes with the fishing pond. That goes the wrong way. I don't want to go with the fishing pond. Psh, screw that jazz. Okay, so there's a sculptural mata this way. Out this way. Mm, I should get fairies again, but at the same time, it's like fairies make the game so easy. Psh. I should probably get fairies. <laughs> Considering it's me, I don't think I'm gonna ever die again in this game, but it is me we're talking about here. Uh, smash that! Psh, and then swim across, and I believe there's supposed to be a sculpture Mata over here. Why are you going over here now? Is there see Did I already grab it? Seriously, there's no sculpture here? I don't hear anything, so... Probably not. Uh, what's the song, Song of Storms? I believe that's... Navi either wants you to play the Song of Storms or the Scarecrow song whenever she turns green. Um, or the Sun song sometimes, I think. It's a weird A down up. There we go. Let's see if that does anything for us, shall we? Although I wasn't really facing the spot. No, I wasn't. Okay, it's probably the Scarecrow song so I can hook shot onto here. Did I not grab... I thought I... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, weird. Oh, it's apparently it's near the teleport pad. I don't know if I grabbed it. I, I mean, I don't have it checked off that I grabbed it. Well, whatever. Who cares? I should probably care, actually. But what? I'll figure it out in editing. Ah, oh, see, that's my issue with gathering skulls and all that. It scares me. That I'm not gonna like save a template or something like that, and I'm gonna like, um, or if I, if I don't check out my list properly, then I'm gonna have no idea. I'm gonna end up with like 98 or 99 sculptures and have no idea which one I'm missing, and it'll be terrible news for everybody. Okay, so let's go over here. But I mean, I, I, I think I'm okay for now. I'll just have to check around and hope for the best. Yeah, yeah. I just saw those arrows. That, did you see all those arrows that just gave me? Now that I don't need arrows anymore. <laughs> Ah. Maybe some weird frame right there. Of course, more arrows. Perfect. All right, let's go on and move on to the Jaruto Valleys. 
We. And that was the last thing you ever heard from Mr. Christopher. Okay, so, uh, I muted my mic at this point. This is all Paul's commentary from this point on to the end of this episode. Because I muted my mic because I went to go, I think I was looking something up or something, and for the first time I was like, Hey, why don't I make use of this giant mute button on my microphone? And, of course, I forgot to hit on mute. And I know you're wondering there, it's like, wh why did I hit mute at that point when I just went between, um, screens from, like, Hylia to Hyrule Field? It didn't look like there was a cut there. And that's because I actually, um, I went through there, then I went back and paused it for, like, four or five minutes, and then came back and just went through. So what you guys actually saw there was actually a, a secret edit cut. Ooh, magical. So, yeah, um... I haven't watched any of this footage back since I played it. I did um, scrub through it and look for all the things I got. See, so like all the sidebars are updated as I'm watching this back and talking to you guys. <gasps> look at Zaruto Valley. With all these Godzillas just waiting to be grasped and caressed. Sorry, I just feel like I have to talk like that when I was trying. Look at that horse jump! It's pretty fantastic. And so yeah, um, I, I, I'm always ready to do post commentary because I'm like, what am I going to talk about? <laughs> but I mean, I, it's really no different from doing a normal Let's Play, I guess, and yeah. So at the time of actually uh, recording this, you guys may be interested to know perhaps that I have finished recording off the of time. Uh, I've, I've recorded the ending of it, and while some people hate when like people record a bunch of events, I, I mostly do it simply because... Um, I just can't stop recording. I don't like doing one episode a day or something like that, especially because I have a pretty busy life. 50 rupees! And by the way, I did not mean to find that treasure chest. I was just kind of exploring. I think I might have been looking for a sculpture, actually. But yeah, anyways. We're gonna go in here in. Oh, oh it's just a pot. Oh, I thought there was. A oh, there we go! I'm the wandering running man! I've run all over this land in search of competitors. We have a true killer instinct. I came here to run through the haunted wasteland, but it doesn't look like good timing for that. Though I want to go back to Hyrule Field, the bridge is, well, you can see it from here, so I'm stuck here inside the tent. I don't think I could accept your challenge right now. <laughs> could he not swim? Could he not if he's like, he's a running man, he should be able to run on the water. By the way, that is the running man we gave the bunny hood to, and I'm pretty dang sure he had a completely different voice, but I don't remember this. Hey you, if you are going to the fortress, would you mind finding out where my workers are doing over there? I, apparently I read this a lot slower. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, it's weird watching this back, but, you know, I should probably just... <sighs> I'm all flustered now, because I'm like, well, what, what, do I, what do I do? What, what do? I guess I'm going to get my horse, and I'm going to say screw it to the sculptures that I can actually get right now. Right meow. I just zoom off into the sunset. That is actually a black set. And here we go, Gerudo Fortress. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. As our fellow Mickey Mouse might say. Maybe. No promises. So look at all those carrots. Nom nom nom. They're delicious. What? Hold stay where you are. What the heck? Are we in jail? The heck, man? Stupid kid, get in there and keep quiet. Uh, I, I guess if you say so. Is this some kind of game? Ow. I'm trying to escape! Ugh, you can't keep me in here, I'll make all the noise! I will escape somehow! I, I actually don't remember why I was doing that, but... Yeah, so you're stuck in this stone box, and it's like... What are you doing now? Hello? Hello? And I feel like if I didn't watch this part on, like, several Let's Plays, I would I would actually be probably a little bit stumped. But, I mean, there's the hook shot. I mean, with the hook shots, like, you're used to... If you didn't know that it could actually latch on the wood, it's an easy thing to forget about. Like, you just normally look for hookshot targets, and that's really it. That, like, there's a Scarecrow song as well, I guess, but oh my god, look at that lady. Thank god they have terrible line of sight, and they turn blue when you hit them with their hookshot for some <gasps> Holy crap, I thought she was gonna turn around and catch me. So yeah, the whole thing with this place is you want to avoid being seen by the ladies in red and purple. What's this? A cage? What's this? What is it? Hello? Is there any guards here? Yeah, as you as you go through this place, you'll notice that there's plenty of people, or plenty of guards walking around. 
Hey you, young man over there, look over here inside the cell phone. The, the cell, but I, I want to say phone. I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's get it, friendly, I read that a lot more slower. All of my fellow carpenters are in prison somewhere in here. Cough, cough. Holy crap, I'm a slow reader. If you get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But be careful. There's sure to be jewel guards around here. Around here somewhere. Whoa! Watch out! Oh my good lord. This one actually attacks me instead of just immediately throwing me in prison for some reason. Link, that is not a good idea to back and cheer at you like that. Uh, anyway, this is a big one, sir. We'll take care of her. No problem. A little bit too easy, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's unequip it right now. I, I didn't unequip it. Oh, wait. I do unequip it. Okay, I didn't. It wasn't shit. And I got a small key for it. Thankfully, she just happens to drop it as she jumps away. Thank the laws, because if she didn't do that, then these guys would be stuck in here for five ever. Yay, hey, rupee I can't use. I'm so happy. <laughs> and that, I gotta say, that actually does look really cool. The cow skull with, like, the decorations around it. I wonder if it means anything. Ooh, will it be important in the future? Parts of Druidolf's Fortress? No. Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just while I'm each row the carpenter. We were really interested in joining the all-female group, but they locked us up, uh, like, just because we're men. Wow. What a sexist asshole. I mean, they're all sexist assholes, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that one. We don't care about the Drizzle anymore. They're so rude. I mean, who'd have thought coming to an all-female group would be a good idea? Three of my fellows have also been captured. Please help them or something. Bye, asshole. I love the way they just kind of prance away. Like, how are they not going to get caught getting out of this place again? They're just going to be thrown right back in there. And he's like, crap, man, if I get caught, you guys can't too. And they're all over the place. They have nothing to defend themselves with. Just look at it. Maybe they're just all cowering in the corner until someone else comes and saves them. And yeah, I don't really want to deal with that, apparently. Past Chris doesn't want to deal with that crap. <laughs> eh. Oh. There's just, that's just a dead end with no guards. Mm. Where do I go? Do I go over here? I don't know. You tell me. Eh. Oh, I don't think I saw a guard there. Was there a guard there? The answer is no, there is Oh, 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 there is one right there. Thankfully, she's stupid. <laughs> she could have seen me, but alas, she did no such thing. Okay, I guess we're going through this way. We're going header, heading deeper into the fortress instead of heading up that little cliff side there. Not really a cliff side, but you know. Alright, so I'm gonna stand me tie these boxes and see. Look at that. She doesn't see us because we're stupid. And thankfully, when they're shot with an arrow, they just get knocked out for some reason instead of dying. Look, we're clearly hitting them in the head with like arrows that would normally kill anybody else, but just because they're women, they're just fainting. Wow. Nintendo is sexist. Men could die, but women can't. Wow. Equal opportunities need to be a thing in Nintendo lands or something. All right, let's get this part. Yay, I did it all by myself. Ooh, there's a green Navi there. Uh, is this the first time I do this, actually? I think this might be the first time I acknowledge this in this let's play, and it might be the only time I... No, that's not true. And yeah, somehow I managed to remember the Song of Storms without looking at backup. That is pretty amazing, I do guts to save. But it apparently is the wrong song. And then we're gonna try Zelda's lullaby, and I guess hope for the best. Hey, Kobe God, I tried to hold it back. I'm sorry, guys. That is also the wrong song, apparently. So, <laughs> on the third try, we'll play the sun song. And for some reason, that makes a giant ball of pink light appear. Um, these are called big fairies. Uh, you cannot capture them in a bottle. They're really just like normal fairies except they're big and yeah they just heal your life up and that's really about it they're actually all over the place in the game whenever you see Navi go to a spot like that and like it's obviously not the scarecrow song because you don't need to get anywhere it is often a big fairy so I didn't know that until I actually saw Nintendo Creepy Sun's three heart run of the game where he showed us there showed his audience that I was gonna say show us as if you guys all watched it as well and here's one of the two skull in this place 
She's just just kind of out here in the open. I mean, that that's pretty great. Let's just let's just grab him. Get rid of this gotcha. Come on. Oh, come on, you little buddy. You did it really nice. Uh, we're getting really up there in skull shows. Holy crap. 85. 15 left to capture in the game. Will I have an issue with finding the last sculptures? I will not say a word about it. Maybe, maybe not. What about the heart pieces? There are only three more. The heart pieces are generally a lot easier to keep track of in this game. I look at me talk as if I have no idea what's going to happen. <sighs> Even though I totally do. And look at my beautiful scarecrow song. You know, that's one of the few things where I wish I could have, might have looked more into doing like maybe I should have used like an actual song or something instead of just doing a whole bunch of random notes not really random I mean I just did go into a circle with a control stick would have been cool to like do an actual scarecrow song and yeah I definitely should have done it oh it's gonna be in the chest it's the item of the dungeon just kidding it's a heart piece speaking of only three heart pieces left to get there's actually only two which holy crap guys we get so close to finishing up the game yeah Alright, so I guess this is the end of the episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like if you already. My name is Chris. Next episode will not be post-commentary. Bye-bye!